Between school holidays and workers out for lunch, it's a busy day in Elizabeth Street Mall. And a far cry from the days of density limits and mask mandates. But COVID is still ever present. I'm feeling quite um, worried about when I go out because I have a chronic lung disease. I think it's still there, but I'm not as concerned as I was before. It's kicked off. I think we're ending up back where we were 2020. I don't really care, to be honest. I know it's getting kind of bad again, but uh, I'm not too stressed. In a nearby donut shop, worker Jake Bailey says he's seen more customers wearing masks lately. It's good to see people wearing masks. Um, it's surprised that they haven't enforced it back in stores. As people continue to grapple with how to live with COVID, Labor is calling on the government to be upfront with the community. The lack of information that's forthcoming from the Rockcliffe Ferguson government is absolutely gobsmacking. There have been another 1,600 cases reported today. Looking at the seven-day trend of cases, it seems to have stabilised and is even going down. But context, next week, families return from school holidays. And we're told the peak is expected in August or September. This pandemic is not over. We're right in the midst of the pandemic. Hospitalisations have also increased five-fold in the past month. But the problems aren't unique to Tasmania. Victoria is facing similar pressures on its health system, with daily case numbers hovering around 10,000. Parents there have received letters asking school students to wear masks indoors. Well, let's be clear, it's not a mandate. Obviously. Tasmania's Principals Association says it wants the government to follow any public health advice. The government says it'll do just that. If that information comes through and that advice is given, then of course uh, we would follow that advice. While Tasmanians take the wearing of masks into their own hands, the health department says they are strongly recommended indoors. But it says the best protection continues to be vaccination. Lucy MacDonald, ABC News.